so here we are in front of the Vigelands Museum. I've never been here before. I've been living in Oslo for 30 years, almost 30 years, and never been to this museum. And it's a shame. So this is a Thor tour, 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 not Thor, but tour into the Vigelands Museum. We're gonna, we're gonna look around and show you what's in there. Okay. Very nice view. That's Somalia, really sweet girl. So we're going out to a tour in this tour in this place. It looks really lovely. So I'm gonna show you around. And uh this sculptures and uh Vigla is one of the most famous Norwegian artists. That's cool. It's actually for the Diglans Park. Uh, sketches and other works. I actually like these works much better than the Diglans Park because it's more detailed and more classical, like I do. Look at this beautiful face. I actually want to start doing some sculpture myself now because I have to evolve and expand. I used to do it in art school actually, and I became quite good at it. So. It's going to be nice to actually do it again. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's nice to see because when you look at the Vigelands Park, it's impressive. The Vigelands Park is extremely impressive. But I actually like these works better because they are more natural and detailed. And, and you can actually see the artist more in these sculptures than you can see in the reality. <clears throat> and Amalia is also filming. Why don't you film with uh, widescreen? Nobody films with widescreen. It's ridiculous. Just because there's a. <laughs> <laughs> well, take widescreen, for fuck's sakes. You don't go to the cinema and look at the cinema. Like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's really nice. These are the, oh, it's marble. It's marble, it's, wow. This is really difficult. Look at the detail when it chops it out. This is, this is time consuming work. I mean, look at this. Just doing this is so impressive. It's amazing. And I guess many of these are the sketches for the Vigelands Park. It's almost a cliche, but it's so beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. Oh, I want to do sculpture. I'm never going to be able to do something like this. Just look at the detail. So. You need there, huh? Beautiful. Ah, this one. I love this one. And, uh, there's a copy in the graveyard. I think the angle. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now to the next room. Yes, and here is a great example of his skill set. As I said, I like these much better than the plump stuff in the Park because you can actually see the extreme level of skill which he had. It's plaster, probably with some, I don't know why it's so yellow, probably had some pigment in it. And yeah, it's really nice, very nice work. And it's so real, it's natural, and uh, no cliche, just straight up. Realism. And that's very important to not romanticize too much because it ruins everything. Just watch and observe and do. I just have to say, wow, so beautiful. 
makes me as a painter feel bad that I don't. This is a skill level of extreme proportions. Separately, look at the detail in the face. Sadness. Captured time. Captured life. His tools. Yeah. It's really amazing. It's like a surgeon's, surgeon's table. And that is what is so amazing. Uh, just see, these are things he actually used to make these beautiful structures. I love this old stuff. Look at how it's crafted. Even the tools are beautifully made. Nowadays it's plastic and just, ugh. And get some old stuff. There's a beautiful sculpture that he's made. And it is yeah. Ingo Zuvos. Yips. Plaster. Here's the room. And uh, chiseling out all this is just. Oh, there's a. Mm, yeah. Also, I want to show you this room. It's beautiful. It's a huge head. Now, um, it's probably also a plaster. And yeah, monument detail. So, able monument detail. Yips, plaster. This is just. This one too. That's a live work. It's, you must have been a total workaholic. If you want to succeed in anything, you just have to do the work. So, yeah. You can find some drawings to film. This is just amazing. Look at these details. So it's like it's I used to have a sculpture teacher in art school called Krzysztof Narsilovsky. He sadly died of cancer a few years ago. 60 years old, what a waste. He was brilliant and uh, learned so much from me. I wish I could talk to him. Because he was doing all these subtle uh, sculptures and he had one batch of clay and when it was finished, there wasn't any more clay left. Everything was into the sculpture, placed in the right place. And I was one of our principals. Never let it grow. Decide how big it's gonna be and stick with it. Don't add or subtract, just build from scratch. Yeah. And here we have it most famous and most stolen sculpture in Norway. The cast and everything, the whole process. It's amazing to see how it's made. And uh, yeah, just look at this. This one has been stolen a few times to just cut it off. It's up in the park. I'm gonna show you after this tour in here. It's really nice to see how he made these things. That's what we did in art school, actually. Building like this. And these anatomy things also. Very nice. Wow, I would like to have one of these. Just having this in a studio and draw it, shifting it. It's not like this wooden, wooden things you have. But the signal talk. A nice butt. <laughs> yeah. So wow. Like Kulta?
Now there has got the original onion, the original kid, but you slapped around to make him cry, so he can, <laughs> today would be arrested, but that's okay, because he did it for art. So we can have a discussion about the ethics of making a kid cry to make art. <laughs> <laughs> Everything for the arts. And here is some orgy of... What the hell is this? Oh, it's probably... Where did it from? Is it Jeff Koons? Is it Jeff Koons? No, I think it's just with the Lindemann. Uh, Norsk? Uh, yeah, I'm from China. Oh. Okay. So, this is a Chinese artist with some references to Jeff Koons, I guess, in a way. That's the feeling, I guess, anyway. But this is probably more. It's quite cool. I like it. It's well made. Not as Vigilant, but yeah. Anyway, it's a cliche. Funny cliche. Sometimes modern art actually is not that bad. Yeah. Yep. And here we are going into all of the gods, I guess. This must be very inspired by North mythology and stuff. And. Uh, there's not much Christianity in this. Thank you very much. I, it's called a life freeze. Oh, let, me, let me see. Yeah, there's a mammoth. And all these are sketches to the park. And it's just amazing work. Again, his plaster. And you have to wonder how, how he could managed to to do this but you see the classics also the sculptures of greek and roman all over the world i mean that was a life of work you have to understand that this guy was just constantly working and uh, that's one of the reasons why it's so sad that people actually die consciousness is the most beautiful thing in the universe and when consciousness can lead to works like this, you have to understand that aging and death is the final and the ultimate disease to be cured. Because people who do things like this just should not die. Well, not anyone should die, of course, because we have such potential. This is humanism in action. This is why we shouldn't wage war. This is why we shouldn't kill children or abuse children or anything this is this is in every human being this is not not he wasn't he was of course he was special in he his abilities to to work and it also reflects how sad it is that so many people are lost in in just bullshit lives lost uh, and all the people who are lost in porn and bullshit and eating, sending themselves to death, and just addictions, and not being able to use their lives to something real. At least I have done something, and I'm gonna do more before I close my eyes for the last time. And I'm watching, looking at this, I should be embarrassed not to wake up every morning and just go straight to work. Every time I am distracted, I should smack myself over the face and say hey get your shit together yeah that is there's no doubt that when you look at this kind of intense work you know that of course i will never be able to reach something like this but you can stretch yourself to do your best with this short blip of life you have yay so, let's go to the next room.
So, there's the next room. There's some money again. And these are, of course, plaster sculptures, models for the park. And it's just, as I say, amazing work. It's to the level. Of course, they're a little bit more plump, not that detailed because of the size and the goal with these sculptures. But the work put into it is just. I actually like this. This is the model of the fountain in the park. And it's just amazing to see how we have made the idea in plaster. Of course he has. This is cool, really. go in to the sculptures in the life freeze I guess this is a model of the whole park and uh, it's really nice to see it's amazing I've been in this city for 30 years I haven't been in it for Plaster sculptures of. I didn't really know that he had made these in plaster before. Now, I thought he just carved them right out of the stones uh, without actually doing plaster sculpture of the big ones. So these are I, these are not my favorites because they are so plump, and, but the concept. Is, is that they're gonna be quite plump. So this is the life freeze in three bits. So I made this in plaster. In plaster. It's just look at this. It's, I mean, the amount of work that went into this. I wonder how many, I must have had a lot of Apprentices or stuff. Can't do, do all this himself, of course, but guiding it and working with it. So I'm gonna. Whew. It makes me. It's, a, it's kind of coming closer when you look at these plaster models. It's, uh, you understand more how we worked and you can see the spots and stuff, and measuring the whole thing. Big dick. <laughs> it's a little bit different, I think. Sculpture, and uh, this is basically why much of modern art suck. They are putting this on par, par with uh, the artists, probably think they are just as important as. And this is just needs no skill, so easy. It's, 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 that is why I just lost interest in modern art. There is no. There's no skill, and there's no spinning. chatter. All the chatter. And I have no idea why. So 
I'm going to be impressed by this stuff. And I, I honestly don't care about the ideas. I don't care about it. Look at this thing. There's no skill in it. Well, I have a fixed idea. I do it. I'm an artist, therefore, so I put some plants in here to make it more. What is this? What is this? Well, it is modern art. Don't find it interesting at all. Sorry. Sorry. Well, maybe I'm close minded, as they say. Okay, do you feel me? Okay, we just came out of the Vigelands Museum and it's amazing. You can see all the sculptures in plaster, even the big ones. Uh, it's all done in plaster and it's just amazing to see the amount of work that he's been doing. Uh, he probably had a lot of uh, people working for him and stuff, but just the, the, the immense task of making this happen is just mind-blowing. Sadly, there wasn't any drawings in display right now. Uh, there was a, was a couple of other sculptures, modern sculptures, sculpturers or whatever you call it in English. And you can see the, the difference between modern art and, um, and uh, his sculptures, which of course make their work just fall through the floor, or roof or whatever. That is probably shows to me why I usually don't care about modern art, because it's just based on, based on pure idea. And these artists aren't that smart to say it. I think actually modern art has too many self-righteous narcissists in, in it and uh, when you see the difference between Vigeland and modern sculpture it becomes really clear. So this exhibition is probably not going to be around for long with, with these things in it but you can go here anytime and see Vigeland's work and it's just amazing. So if you come to Oslo, Norway, go for it. Go in there, see it, have the experience. Yay! Okay, thank you. See you later. And here it is, the uh, Sinatak, the most famous sculpture in the Vigeland Park, in stone. Cut the foot up actually. They stole it a couple of times. Luckily they found it and put it back. So here it is. Yeah.